Are you patient 60420? Excellent. And would you just mind confirming your date of birth? Excellent. And what would you like me to call you today? Wonderful. Well, it's very nice to meet you. My name is Dr. Calliope, and I'm going to be taking care of your service today. How are you feeling prior to, to our treatment? Yes, it's very normal to have a little bit of nervousness, a little bit of trepidation. Believe it or not, most people don't think it's going to actually work at all. But we've had this technology for a few years now, and we have treated thousands of patients with unwanted and sometimes disturbing memories that they wanted to have erased and they go on to live fulfilling lives without being weighed down by them. Okay? All right, so you can just sit down, get comfortable. I'm just gonna sanitize my hands real quick. Now I'm going to be asking you some somewhat personal questions, but I'm not going to be invasive. And one of the beautiful things about the memory scrub is that I don't need to know the details of what you wish to forget. So firstly, do you have in mind the particular memory that you wish us to erase today? Okay, you have that narrowed down. Excellent. And can you tell me just a, a little bit about that memory? Whether it is something of an altercation or if it was an embarrassing situation, perhaps a breakup, anything like that? You don't have to tell me any names, just the general general situation. Okay. Wonderful. All right. And on a scale from 1 to 10, how much does this memory bother you? How much does it intrude on your life? Okay. When approximately did this memory form? When was this situation that is causing you distress? Okay, so I will warn you that when we are dealing with memories that are in the distant past that are more than a few years old, the rest of your memories and maybe even the way you think can be a little altered because a lot of what we think, how we feel, and even how we remember other events are influenced by these particular memories that bother us so much. So just keep that in mind, okay? Yes, that's perfectly normal as well. Most people find that, again, their lives are much better for it and they're able to they're able to respond to things more appropriately, their emotions feel more in control for them, so keep that in mind. And lastly, how often does this memory surface for you? How often does it bother you? Okay. So I think based on this information, we certainly can do a memory scrub. So the difference between a memory scrub and a memory disinfection is that the memory scrub is more recommended for persistent or intrusive memories of mild to medium severity. 
if we are talking something that is debilitating, then we would recommend a memory disinfection. And that way we can also search out other memories that might have been tainted by that particular memory and, well, disinfect them of that. But I think we can do the memory scrub for you. Now lastly, since we have been talking about this memory, I want to just assess your health. So since we've been bringing it up and you've been thinking about it, I just want to make sure that your current health, your vitals, your body is not reacting in a way that we would either have to postpone or change the treatment, okay? Okay, so first I'd like to take your pulse if you don't mind. Yes, so I will have you just hold out one of your arms, it doesn't matter which one, and from this point onwards I will need to be touching you. Is that okay with you? Do I have your permission to do that? Wonderful, thank you. So let's see here. I just want you to keep breathing like you have been. Good. Just feeling both the speed and the rhythm and the strength. And I just want to feel the other side. You don't have to try to influence your heartbeat. I'll know right away if we need to. If we need to change our, our trajectory. Okay, and I am going to feel both of your arms, both your pulses and your arms at the same time. Okay. See if there's any differentiation. Okay, excellent. And let's take a peek at your eyes. So I have a flashlight here. This flashlight is more of a medium strength and I'm just going to be taking a look at how your eyes react. this today if you don't want to. You're more than welcome to come back another day. All right, I'm gonna have you follow this light for me, okay? Using only your eyes without moving your head, right? Good. Just keep following the light. Mm-hmm. Does 
a little bit more here. go up, down, up, down, diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, Diagonally up, diagonally up, diagonally down, diagonally down, diagonally up. Okay, just keep looking at this light, right? I want your eyes to follow it. I'm going to come in and out. Just keep following this light in and out. Good. In and out. In out. We'll switch sides. In, out, in, out, last one, in, and out. I'll give you just a moment. Go ahead and blink if you need to make the eyes a little a little dry, a little tired. Good. And I'm just going to feel the skin, the backs of my hands. Just feel along the surface, all right? It'll just be real quick. Feel the skin. And on the arms. Good. And lastly, I want to take a listen to your heart and your lungs. So, if you could just breathe normally for me. I don't want you to feel like you need to put on, put on a face or shield how you feel. It's a nerve-wracking process, it is. But I've done this many times. And I haven't had a service go wrong yet. It's a very gentle, gentle treatment. So there's little room for things to go wrong. At the very least, if it doesn't work quite the way that you wanted it to, it's just more because it may not have completely erased the memory, but we can always do it again. Now, I want you to just take a deep breath in for me. And out. Good. 
deep breath in and out 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 very good So what I was mainly looking for were signs of severe emotional distress, which we can't really work with. But a little bit of agitation, a little bit of anxiety is normal and we can certainly work with that. But your heart rate was just a little fast and it pounded just a little, which we would see in anxiety. Your breaths were a little more shallow. They weren't as deep until we we got to the deep breathing portion and your skin wasn't clammy there was just just a little bit of coolness to it so it wasn't sweating and it wasn't hot it was just cool to the touch and lastly you did very well with following the light sometimes when we see people that are for example dissociating or they are having a very difficult time it's quite difficult for them to follow those those instructions albeit how simple they are so i think that we can proceed with the treatment and i don't have any concerns at this time okay how are you feeling right now okay is this still something you want to proceed with okay very good. So the, the memory scrub is actually a two-part process. So we have the scrub, which fades the memory, and the resurfacing, which helps replace it. So we will start with the scrubbing process, and that can take a little bit of time. The resurfacing, I find, usually takes a little bit less time but it's all individualized. Don't feel like you have to get this stuff immediately. Don't feel like I'm rushing you. We'll go as long as you need to, okay? All right, so let's get you relaxed, okay? It works much, much better if you are relaxed and calm. So if you could just take a deep breath for me. and out good take a deep breath in and out and as you take the next breath i want you to feel your body sink down i want you to feel your body feel a little heavier i want you to allow it to relax Take a deep breath in and out. Deep breath in and out. Good. And I want you to see if you can relax even just a little bit more. Have your body feel a little heavier sink into your seat a little bit more as we take another deep breath in and out and deep breath in and out I want you to think 
of the memory that we wish to erase. You don't have to tell me the details. You don't even have to speak aloud if you don't want to. You're more than welcome to, if that makes you more comfortable, though. I want you to make it come to life as much as possible. And just know that I'm here with you, and you're safe with me, and if I see you get too agitated, then I will pull you back, okay? And then we'll do a little more grounding. But I want you to think about that memory, and I want you to answer a few questions for me, okay? So how does this memory make you feel? What kind of emotions are you having? Take your time. It's okay. Okay. And what thoughts are you having? What kind of what kind of statements are you hearing in your thoughts? Okay. And where are you feeling all of this in your body? Is there any particular place that you feel something tense? something stuck? Does it feel like a clot is forming in your throat? Does it feel like your heart is beating against your chest? Does it feel like your lungs can't get enough air? Anything, anything like that? Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, and I am going to be bringing my light again, and I'm going to have you watch this light go back and forth, all right? So take a look at this light. I want you to keep thinking of that memory while you are watching this light go back and forth. Keep thinking of that memory. How does the memory make you feel? Mm -hmm. Okay. And what thoughts are you having? with this memory. What are you thinking right now? And where are you feeling these emotions, these thoughts in your body? Where are you feeling that right now? thinking about that and keep watching the light. Using only your eyes without moving your head. Right, now I want you to just look at me. I want you to look at me. And I want you to take a deep breath for me. And out. Come back to the present moment. Take a deep breath in. And out. Last one. Feel your body. Feel its weight. Feel it relax. Take a deep breath in. And out. 
Okay. So tell me a little bit about what you're thinking and what you're feeling right now. Is there any change at all? Does it feel any better or does it feel any worse? Has the feeling shifted? Have your thoughts changed at all? I want you to follow the light again for me, right? Follow this light using only your eyes, not moving your head. And I want you to think about that memory. Think about the memory as you watch the light go back and forth. about that memory. Now, what are you feeling right now? What kind of emotions are you feeling? Okay. And what are you thinking? What are your thoughts? And what sensations do you feel in your body? to look at me, right here. I want you to take a deep breath for me. And out. Okay. Take a deep breath in. to feel your body sink down. Feel your body relax a little bit more. Take a deep breath in. And out. How are you doing now? How does it feel? Are you still able to conjure this memory clearly or Is it getting a little blurry, a little dull around the edges? Okay, and what are your thoughts surrounding this memory now as you've been thinking it through? Mm -hmm. And how about your feelings? How are you feeling about it? And are you feeling any sensations in your body while you think of that memory? Okay. All right. Let's go on again. Follow the light using only your eyes without moving your head. Okay? All right. Just keep thinking of that memory. Just keep following the light. Know that I am here with you. And I will bring you back from the edge. If I feel that you need it. But you are safe here. And you've been doing wonderfully. What are you feeling right now? What emotions are you feeling in regards to the memory?
and what thoughts are you thinking in regards to it? What's playing in your brain right now? And are you feeling any sensations in your body? Okay, go ahead and look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Are you feeling any particular emotions come up now? How has this changed for you? Has it gotten better? Has it gotten worse? Has it stayed the same? What kind of thoughts are you having regarding this memory? How have they changed? And how about the feelings in your body? Have they migrated? They lessened? Have they gotten stronger? How are you feeling in your body? So we are going to go in again, but this time we're going to try to scrub. So with this, we use much quicker motions with the light and I'll ask less questions and we will try to scrub that away, okay? Follow the light, using only your eyes, not moving your head. And just keep thinking about that memory you follow this light, we are desensitizing you and we are allowing your brain to reprocess this memory. Just keep thinking of the memory. Take a look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. What are you noticing? Thoughts, feelings, sensations. Okay. All right. Let's go ahead and go back in. All right. Follow the light. scrubbing away those memories that have given you so much trouble. They are in the past. We are ensuring that they can't hurt you anymore. They have happened. But we're getting rid of of the pain and the hurt associated with them. We're allowing you to move on. Good. 
take a look at my nose. Take a deep breath in. And out. How are we feeling? Okay, any thoughts, any sensations you wish to bring up? Okay, let's do it again. One more time. Follow the light for me. Process and move on. You're allowed to move on. You're allowed to move forward. This is the first step. Take a deep breath in and out. Good. So now we're going to move on to the resurfacing. Now resurfacing is when we replace these memories and these thoughts with how we want them to look like, how we want to feel about them. All right? Be just a moment. I want you to ask just a couple, answer rather, just a couple questions for me. Firstly, how do you want this memory to look like for you? When you look back to that time, what do you want to have in your head? How do you want to feel when you see this memory? How do you want to feel when you see the replacement? And lastly, how do you want to think? What thoughts do you want to come to mind when you look back and see this replacement? Okay. We're going to go in quickly first, and then we'll move in slow. We'll get you used to it, and then we'll really allow it to settle in. Follow the light for me. Focus on what you want to see when you look back. What memory, what images do you want to replace it? What do you want to feel when you look back and see the replacement? What do you want to think? when you look back and see the replacement. Okay, take a look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. How you doing? What are you feeling right now? Okay. And what about your emotions? What's coming up for you? And what are your thoughts right now? Even the most minute thought I'd like to know. Okay. Let's go ahead and go back in. Follow the light and focus on how you want the replacement memory to look.
How do you want this memory to feel when you look back? What do you want to think when you look back? And take a deep breath in and out. How are we doing? Okay. You know the drill? Any thoughts, feelings, sensations coming up? All right, let's go in for one last time with the fast, all right? Lovely. And think about how you want your replacement memory to look. How do you want to feel? What do you want to think? Placement memory. And take a look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. Okay. So lastly, we're going to seal that all up. All right, we'll go in slow and we'll allow you some time to really think about how you want the memory to look, how you want to feel, how you want to think when you see that memory there, okay? We'll go in real slow, we'll let you relax in between. Now that it's a little more familiar to you, it should set in much easier, okay? Do let me know if it's too much. Then we can stop. Follow the light for me, using only your eyes, without moving your head. I want you to think about that replacement memory. What does it look like to you? How do you want to feel when you look back at that memory? What do you want to think when you look back, when you see that replacement memory? Allow it to cement in your mind. Allow it to grow. Allow it to give you peace. Allow it to give you understanding. Allow it to let you move on. And take a deep breath in for me. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. How are you feeling in your body right now? Kind of sensations are you feeling? 
And what kind of thoughts are you having? What do your thoughts say? And how are you feeling emotionally? What are your emotions right now? Okay, let's go back in. Follow the light using only your eyes without moving your head. And focus on that memory that you wish to be the replacement. We're resurfacing the memory, making it into something much more beautiful. Focus on what you see. Focus on your thoughts, what you want to think. And focus on what you want to feel, what emotions you want to feel. to take hold. Look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Okay. How are you feeling right now? What are your emotions? And what kind of physical sensations are you feeling? You feel your body settling down. Do you feel a warmth in your chest or your stomach? Do you feel your muscles loosen? Do you feel the tension leave? What are your thoughts? Okay. We're going to go in one last time and seal everything up. I want you to follow this light using only your eyes without moving your head. And think of that replacement memory. Think of the replacement memory. How do you want it to look like? How do you want it to make you feel? How do you want to think when you look at it? Look at me. Take a deep breath in. And out. Deep breath in. And out. Last one. Deep breath in. And out. Allow your 
body to relax. Allow your mind to relax. <laughs> How are you doing right now? Not just in terms of the memory process, but in general. How are you doing? You don't have to hide anything. You don't have to put up a front or anything. Okay? Alright. Do you feel like this has been satisfactory? Okay, I want you to think about that memory. And... Tell me how you feel emotionally. Do you think on that memory? And what are your thoughts? What are you thinking right now when you look at it? And what sensations are you feeling in your body as you look at it? Very good. So the final step in our memory scrub is you getting a little bit of rest. The brain uses sleep to process its day and that is the best way for us to really seal in that replacement memory while your brain finds all the little places that it can push that memory into so that it covers up the old. Okay? So I am going to have you stay in this room. I'm going to have you lie down, close your eyes, and don't force it. Just allow your body and your mind to rest and since this has been a pretty, a pretty emotionally and mentally exertive process, I think you'll find that you'll sleep fairly soon, okay? Is there anything else I can do for you before I go? Alright, do let us know. You do have a little, a little intercom, little phone here. So you can let us know if something is awry or if you need anything, right? We'll be, we'll be taking care of you for the next couple of days and then we'll allow you to go back to your life, right? Thank you so much for allowing me to help you replace this memory and move forward. I really hope that your life grows that much better for it and you're able to get a little bit of peace. I hope you have a whale of a day and a good rest of your night. Now, allow yourself to sleep. Bye now. Thank you so much for watching this video. description.